Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. We're going to hear from Kyle Shanahan's conference call in a minute. But first, we have to start, as we always do, with the injury report. Four names on it. John Feliciano is in the concussion protocol. We knew that after the game on Sunday. Three more names, and they are all day today. Debo Samuel, Elijah Mitchell, and Jawan Jennings all day today with the same injuries they were dealing with going into the Cardinals game. So no new injuries for the 49ers coming out of the Cardinals. That is very, very encouraging news. Now, let's hear more from Kyle Shanahan on the conference call. First, on Christian McCaffrey, is he actually better than he was last year? It's tough to say because, I, I mean, I thought, I thought he was so good last year at it too, but, but I do think he's gotten better. I think he just understands it more as a whole. Not that he didn't last year, but I think this stuff comes pretty natural to Christian. But he also works at it harder than any player I've been around. So um, he doesn't just try to figure out what he's supposed to do. He, he understands the package of everybody, and that's why he picks things up fast, and that's why he's been pretty interchangeable at all the spots we put him at. Christian McCaffrey had 15 first downs. On Sunday, he now has 99 since joining the 49ers. That is the most in the NFL in that span. Another one from Kyle Shanahan for you. Looking ahead to week five and the Cowboys, Sunday night football, prime time. Kyle, do you like playing for all the world to see? I'm a fan of football also first growing up and everything and still am now. So anytime there's big matchups and stuff, especially for the night games, I mean, that's what's great for our league. And there's nothing more fun than being a part of it as a player or a coach. And these are like kind of the games you live for and you enjoy. Um, but it's a, you know, it's a whole week to get there. Big preparation. It's still going to be the same type of game as always. Just starts a little bit later. It's still just going to be as long. But um, I know people will be amped up. Love it when the rest of the league gets to watch you. Um, when it's on national TV, it's great for all the fans and stuff. But it's really cool that. You know, usually the players and everything and coaches are home by the end of the day and they get to see that game too. And um, I know that's what we enjoy the most. Nick Wagner actually had a good note on Twitter. The Niners and Cowboys haven't played in prime time since 1990. Kind of hard to believe given all the history with these two teams, but it's true. One more from Kyle. You're rolling right now. 14 consecutive regular season victories. Is this the most fun team that you've coached? The goal is to get there, and I I thought our team was like that last year. I mean, I think we went on that roll, and um, we felt pretty invincible and stuff. And every year is a new year, so you got to start that over. But we got a lot of carryover from last year with that with some of the guys, and I think through our experiences and stuff, came into this year a little bit more, um, I think, ready to go, to tell you the truth. And um, they know how last year ended, and they've been very excited to get this year started, and you can kind of feel it right away. I mean, you could feel it in week one, I felt like, at Pittsburgh, and I thought last year it took us a little bit more to get to, uh, more towards the middle of October, end of October. Um, but I think we've gotten there faster now, and the challenge is to keep improving because we um, only do one or two things, get better or worse. So we got to make sure we keep improving. The NFL has a way of humbling you really quickly when you think you're invincible. But the Niners are clearly aware of it. They're guarding against it. They're going to do everything they can to meet the challenge against the Cowboys. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Tuesday. The Minutia Minute with Matt Barrows and The Athletic is back. And once again, it is chock full of good information coming out of the Cardinals game, including some stuff on Nick Bosa's supposed slow start to the season that you may want to check out if you want to read it. Click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch. Our good friend Brian Baldinger is back. He actually had two good breakdowns. One was of Brock Purdy and one was of Christian McCaffrey and the offensive line. We will retweet them from our handle at GSN 49ers. One thing you may have missed, sad news to pass along. Unfortunately, former 49ers and Patriots tight end Russ Francis died Sunday in a plane crash in Lake Placid, New York. Francis played 14 seasons in the NFL, won a Super Bowl with the 49ers in 1984. He was 70 years old. That's a wrap on today's 49ers in 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. If you want to help us, please leave a five-star rating and a review. It really helps us move up the charts, and I promise if you leave a review, I will do my best to read it on the show. 
Enjoy your Tuesday, everybody. Stay tuned for the Bully Ball podcast with Steph Sanchez and Jason Aponte. Very, very early. I think it's early anyway. 8 a.m. Pacific time. We'll do the show. Hope you're up early. Grab your coffee. Come sit with us. It's going to be a ton of fun. Lots of good things to go over. I'm Rob Statz-Guerrera. We'll talk later today.